Hi guys, so welcome back. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you guys a thrift haul as you can see from the title. But before we get into the haul, I want to share to you guys the first steps I took to becoming more sustainable when it comes to my fashion. And that is shopping vintage. For obvious reasons, buying second hand is more sustainable because you're extending that clothing's life that someone has donated. And someone else's rubbish is now going to be your treasure. I know people do say that, oh, it's so hard to find clothes at charity shops, but my tip is before you go up shopping, have an idea of what you want to kind of get. You can't just go into it like you do normally when you're shopping for clothes at fast fashion like Zara. You just go in there and you get fed so much stuff so then you just end up liking something you, you didn't really think of. And that's another thing. Up shopping makes you really think about what you want and what you want to find. And that's fun. I think that's fun for me. I think it's more creative. It's more challenging as well. Okay, anyways, we'll get into the haul now. The first thing I want to show you guys is something I've been wearing like constantly. It's this orange vibrant jumper. It's knitwear, which I love because it's winter now in Australia. It's so warm and it's so vibrant. It just, it's, it still literally looks like it has so much wear to it. I don't know why someone donated this, but thank you whoever it was. But yeah, great find. Next, I found a freaking turtleneck. It has this silver kind of metal hardware on it. It's so nice. It's it's so soft as well. I know that it's made of wool, if I'm correct. This is the thing you you read guys before you buy anything by the way. Um yeah it's made with wool, acrylic and spandex. Okay, so still with the theme of red <laughs> I found these amazing pants. This is why I love op shopping because you never know what you're gonna find. It's literally like treasure hunting. But these 100% linen, high-waisted red pants. Like, so vibrant, so cool, so on trend still because it's high-waisted, it's kind of loose-fitted, but it's linen. Linen is so breathable and it's natural fibers. And it's made in Australia. Yeah, made in, made in Australia as you can see there. So pretty shocked and so happy that I got this in my staple wardrobe now, but yay! The last thing I want to show you guys is this amazing, fits me like a dream for $30, is this black wool and cashmere blazer. So for anyone that's vegan out there, yes wool is derived from um, sheep and cashmere is also derived from a certain type of sheep. But this is second hand and I think instead of it wasting in the charity store, I'm gonna purchase it and make use of it and extend its life. And wool and cashmere, like $30 for a blazer, that's insane. Like you would find one in Zara that's like $250 and it's like wool and acrylic or like polyamide, which is insane that you're paying for that much money and you're not getting top, top end quality. So that's everything for now, and I also just want to remind you guys before I go, is that fashion recycles itself. Fashion is coming and going, trends come in and come out, so every time you go thrift store shopping, you will definitely find something that's probably in right now, or someone donated that bought last week because that's how it is now. Someone buys something and they get bored of it after one use and then donate it. It's crazy to think that. Okay, so I'll see you guys next week. My links will be down below, my Instagram and my blog as I said, and also subscribe if you like. Like the video down below as well. If you like this kind of videos, I can make it more. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!